Section. Introduction. Let's start with an introduction. Text embeddings are a way of representing natural language in a vector format that captures its semantic meaning. These embeddings are used in a variety of natural language processing tasks, such as information retrieval, question answering, and many others. In the field of information retrieval, for instance, the initial stage of retrieval often uses text embeddings to efficiently recall a small set of candidate documents from a large corpus using techniques that find approximate nearest neighbors. Text embeddings also play a crucial role in retrieval augmented generation, a new approach that allows large language models to access dynamic external knowledge without changing the model parameters. Another important use of text embeddings is in the source attribution of generated text, which can enhance the interpretability and trustworthiness of large language models. Previous studies have shown that a weighted average of pre-trained word embeddings is a strong baseline for measuring semantic similarity. However, these methods often fail to capture the rich contextual information of natural language. To address this, models like SentenceBERT and SimCSE have been proposed which learn text embeddings by fine-tuning BERT on natural language inference datasets. To further improve the performance and robustness of text embeddings, state-of-the-art methods like E5 and BGE use a more complex multi-stage training paradigm. This involves first pre-training on billions of weekly supervised text pairs, and then fine-tuning on several labeled datasets. However, these multi-stage approaches have several drawbacks. They require a complex multi-stage training pipeline that demands significant engineering efforts to curate large amounts of relevance pairs. They also rely on manually collected datasets that are often limited by the diversity of tasks and the coverage of languages. In this paper, we propose a new method for text embeddings that uses large language models to overcome these limitations. We use proprietary large language models to generate synthetic data for a wide range of text embedding tasks in 93 languages, covering hundreds of thousands of embedding tasks. We use a two-step prompting strategy that first prompts the large language models to brainstorm a pool of candidate tasks, and then prompts the large language models to generate data conditioned on a given task from the pool. To cover various application scenarios, we design multiple prompt templates for each task type and combine the generated data from different templates to boost diversity. For the text embedding models, we opt for fine-tuning powerful open-source large language models rather than small BERT-style models. Since large language models such as Mistral have been extensively pre-trained on web-scale data, contrastive pre-training offers little additional benefit. We show that Mistral 7B, when fine-tuned solely on synthetic data, achieves competitive performance on the BEIR and MTEB benchmarks. This is particularly interesting considering that this setting does not involve any labeled data. When fine-tuned on a mixture of synthetic and labeled data, our model achieves new state-of-the-art results, surpassing previous methods by a significant margin, 2%. The entire training process requires less than 1,000 steps. Moreover, we empirically validate that our model can effectively perform personalized passkey retrieval for inputs up to 32,000 tokens by altering the rotation base of the position embeddings, extending the context length beyond the conventional 512 token limit. Regarding its multilinguality, our model excels on high-resource languages. However, for low-resource languages, there is still room for improvement as current open-source large language models are not adequately pre-trained on them. Now, let's move on to the related work. Text embeddings are continuous low-dimensional representations of text and have been extensively applied to various downstream tasks such as information retrieval, question answering, and retrieval augmented generation. Early work on text embeddings includes latent semantic indexing and weighted average of word embeddings. More recent methods exploit supervision from natural language inference and labeled query document pairs to train text embeddings. However, labeled data are often limited in terms of task diversity and language coverage. To address this challenge, methods like Contriever, OpenAI Embeddings, E5, and BGE adopt a multi-stage training paradigm. They first pre-train on large-scale weekly supervised text pairs using contrastive loss and then fine-tune on small-scale but high-quality datasets. In this paper, we demonstrate that it is possible to obtain state-of-the-art text embeddings with single-stage training. Synthetic data generation is a widely studied topic in information retrieval research, with various methods proposed to enhance retrieval systems with artificially created data. For instance, doc2query and promptigator generate synthetic queries for unlabeled documents, which are then leveraged for document expansion or retriever training. 
Unlike these methods, our approach does not rely on any unlabeled documents or queries and thus can generate more diverse synthetic data. Another related line of work focuses on knowledge distillation from black box large language models by training on synthetic data generated from them. With the popularization of models like ChatGPT, large language models have demonstrated remarkable capabilities in instruction following and few shot in context learning. However, the most advanced large language models such as GPT-4 are proprietary and have little technical details disclosed. To bridge the gap between proprietary and open source large language models, several notable efforts have been made, such as Llama 2 and Mistral models. A major limitation of large language models is that they lack awareness of recent events and private knowledge. This issue can be partly mitigated by augmenting large language models with information retrieved from external sources, a technique known as retrieval augmented generation. On the other hand, large language models can also serve as foundation models to enhance text embeddings. In this paper, we present a novel approach to train state-of-the-art text embeddings by exploiting the latest advances of large language models and synthetic data. Section Summary Text embeddings are vector representations of natural language that encode semantic information and are widely used in various NLP tasks. Existing methods for generating text embeddings have limitations in capturing contextual information and rely on manually collected datasets. In this paper, we propose a novel method that leverages large language models to generate synthetic data for diverse text embedding tasks in multiple languages, achieving state-of-the-art results and extending the context length beyond conventional limits. Section. Method. We're going to discuss our method for creating synthetic data using advanced language models like GPT-4. This approach is particularly useful for increasing diversity across various tasks and languages, which is crucial for developing robust text embeddings that can perform well in different scenarios, such as semantic retrieval, textual similarity, or clustering. To generate diverse synthetic data, we propose a simple classification system that divides embedding tasks into several groups. We then apply different prompt templates to each group. One category is asymmetric tasks, where the query and document are semantically related but are not paraphrases of each other. Depending on the length of the query and document, we further divide asymmetric tasks into four subgroups, short long match, long short match, short short match, and long long match. For example, short long match tasks involve a short query and a long document, which is a common scenario in commercial search engines. For each subgroup, we design a two-step prompt template that first prompts language models to brainstorm a list of tasks, and then generates a concrete example based on the task definition. Another category is symmetric tasks, which involve queries and documents that have similar semantic meanings but different surface forms. We examine two application scenarios, monolingual semantic textual similarity, STS, and bitext retrieval. We design two distinct prompt templates for each scenario, tailored to their specific objectives. To further increase the diversity of the prompts and thus the synthetic data, we incorporate several placeholders in each prompt template, whose values are randomly sampled at runtime. For example, the value of query underscore length is sampled from the set less than 5 words, 5 to 10 words, at least 10 words. For training, given a relevant query document pair, we first apply an instruction template to the original query to generate a new one. For generated synthetic data, we use the outputs from the brainstorming step. For other datasets, such as MS Marco, we manually craft the task definitions and apply them to all the queries in the dataset. We then feed the query and document into the language model to obtain the query and document embeddings by taking the last layer vector. To train the embedding model, we adopt the standard info NCE loss over the in-batch negatives and hard negatives. Our generated synthetic data consists of 500,000 examples with 150,000 unique instructions using Azure OpenAI service. The majority of the data is in English, but it covers a total of 93 languages. For the bottom 75 low-resource languages, there are about 1,000 examples per language on average. We then fine-tune the pre-trained Mistral 7B checkpoint for one epoch using the loss in the equation. We follow the training recipe from rank LLAMA and utilize LoRa with rank 16. To further reduce GPU memory requirement, techniques including gradient checkpointing, mixed precision training, and deep speed 03 are applied. For the training data, we utilize both the generated synthetic data and a collection of 13 public datasets, 
yielding approximately 1.8 million examples after sampling. We evaluate the trained model on the MTEB benchmark. Evaluation of one model takes about three days on 8V100 GPS due to the need to encode a large number of documents. Although our model can accommodate sequence length beyond 512, we only evaluate on the first 512 tokens for efficiency. Section Summary The authors propose a method for generating diverse synthetic data using advanced language models like GPT-4. They categorize embedding tasks into groups and apply different prompt templates to each group, resulting in high-quality outputs. The generated data is then used to train an embedding model using the InfoNCE loss, and the statistics of the generated data show its effectiveness in enhancing diversity across multiple languages. Section. Main Results. Let's delve into the main findings of our study. We found that our model, which we've named E5 Mistral 7B plus Full Data, achieved the highest average score on the MTEB benchmark, surpassing the previous best model by 2.4 points. Interestingly, even when we trained the model using only synthetic data, without any labeled data, it still performed quite well. We believe that generative language modeling and text embeddings are two sides of the same coin. Both tasks require the model to deeply understand natural language. A robust language model should be able to generate its own training data and then be fine-tuned into an embedding model. Our experiments suggest that this approach has potential, but more research is needed to fully explore it. We also compared our model with several commercial text embedding models. However, due to a lack of transparency and documentation about these models, a fair comparison wasn't possible. We focused particularly on retrieval performance on the BEIR benchmark, as RAG is a new technique to enhance language models with external knowledge and proprietary data. Our model significantly outperformed the current commercial models. We also evaluated our model's multilingual capabilities using the MIRACL dataset, which includes human annotated queries and relevance judgments in 18 languages. Our model performed better than ME5 large on high-resource languages, especially English. However, it didn't perform as well on low-resource languages, likely because Mistral 7B is primarily pre-trained on English data. We expect future multilingual language models to use our method to improve performance on low-resource languages. We also examined whether contrastive pre-training is necessary. This technique has been key to the success of existing text embedding models. For example, Contriver uses random crop spans as positive pairs for pre-training while E5 and BGE collect and filter text pairs from various sources. Our findings suggest that contrastive pre-training benefits XLMR large, improving its retrieval performance by 8.2 points. However, for models based on Mistral 7B, contrastive pre-training had little effect. This suggests that extensive auto-regressive pre-training allows language models to acquire good text representations, and only minimal fine-tuning is needed to transform them into effective embedding models. We also introduced a new synthetic task called Personalized PASCII Retrieval to evaluate our model's long context capability. This task involves encoding PASCII information in a long context into the embeddings. We found that the default configuration with a 4K sliding window achieved 100% accuracy within 4K tokens. However, the accuracy dropped quickly as the context length increased. Extending the sliding window size to 32K actually worsened performance. By changing the rope rotation base to 10 to the power of 5, the model achieved over 90% accuracy within 32k tokens, but this slightly reduced performance for shorter contexts. Future research could explore how to adapt the model to longer contexts through lightweight post-training. Finally, we analyzed the impact of different training configurations. We found that initializing with Mistral 7b was more effective than with Llama 2 7b. The choice of pooling types and lower ranks didn't significantly affect overall performance, so we stuck with the default setting. However, the way we added instructions had a considerable impact on performance. We believe that natural language instructions help the model understand the embedding task, enabling it to generate more discriminative embeddings. Our framework also allows us to customize the behavior of text embeddings through instructions without needing to fine-tune the model or rebuild the document index.